Yeah, I mean, this is why he looks like the DEI mayor right here is because he has his hoodie on, you know, his, his hair is not done. Nappy um, head. And that's why the only reason he heard, he hears the dog whistle is because he's a bitch. Dog. <laughs> Dogs hear whistles. Black folks, like, you guys got some nerve to be talking about this. You guys call white folks everything in the book from they, you know, nepotism, you know, like if they get a good job because of their, you know, family or their connections, you guys call them privileged to be hired because of diversity, equity, inclusion, and not because the fact that you're qualified is affecting them. So I um, want to get right into it, talking about the issue of the uh, Francis Scott Key bridge collapse here in Baltimore. For those of you who may not be uh, familiar with us, we are right here in Baltimore City, Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, we're very familiar with the Francis Scott Key Bridge. And we want to talk about the mayor uh, this week. Um, he, he was on the readout with Joy Reid. Uh, this was Wednesday, I believe. Slammed um, the Baltimore mayor, uh, Brandon Scott, with one Wednesday, slammed people accusing him of pushing diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI, initiatives, claiming that claiming they use such terms as a dog whistle for more harmful speech. His comments came while speaking with MSNBC's Joy Reid about social media backlash over his response to the collapse of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. All right. Um, so I want to get right into this. I do want to acknowledge we have a super chatter. <laughs> All right. Hi. Thank you. Thank you, yes. Thank you so Thank much. You. We certainly appreciate it. He says, love you, gals. Thank you Thank so you. much. All right. Um, so I want to get into this. Um, I want to play the clip first of, of the conversation. And then I want to get you guys' response on this part. This is Joy Reid explaining what has transpired regarding um, Mayor Brandon Scott doing the media tour due to the bridge collapse. Idiotic and racist theories had to do with their newest myth, diversity, equity, and inclusion, DEI. A Republican congressional candidate in Florida tweeted that DEI did this. And a right-wing blue check account that's been boosted by Elon Musk in the past just blew straight past the dog whistling, tweeting to its 276,000 followers, quote, Baltimore's DEI mayor commenting on the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. It's going to get so, so much worse. Prepare accordingly. The post included a clip of Baltimore's black mayor, Brandon Scott. I, I cannot believe I have to say this. Uh, no, you can't believe it. Oh, but your pearls in a city that is 61% black. So, by right wing logic, a diversity hire would have been a white man. Uh, it never works like that. You <laughs> know, it doesn't work like that. Black, <laughs> you know? Young black men, in particular, have been the boogeyman for those who are racist and think that only. Uh, uh, Straight this is why he looks like a DEI mayor right now. I mean, in you, you in there got from, a hoodie with, on. Well, with I want hoodie. To go ahead. What, what were you saying? Yeah, I mean, this is why he looks like the DEI mayor right here is because he has his hoodie on. You know, his his hair is not done. Nappy um, head. Yeah, and this this is this is the issue. I mean, and and my big thing with this is that they couldn't. You know, the bridge couldn't fall fast enough to create a moment of divisiveness, right? Uh, this this event is a time for the country to come together. It's almost like a 9-11 event where we should be, you know, united we stand, right? I mean, the sy symbolism of this bridge falling in the manner that it did should not have been an opportunity to create more division, right? And particularly as an elected official, you should be standing for free speech and understand people are going to say, what they want to say, regardless of if you agree with it or not. And as elected official, you represent everybody, all your constituents, right? You got constituents in Baltimore saying he's a DEI mayor, but you also got, um, you know, constituents, you know, kind of questioning, you know, what's going on with the bridge. And, you know, as a representative of people, elected representative, you represent those that voted for you and vote didn't vote for you, right? And he could not wait. To, to create this, make this a divisive moment. I want to continue with what he said, because this is important. And this is the, the what kind of went viral. Um, here he is. Just a couple more seconds. 
they brought us to this country and what they anything we've been the boogeyman from then since the first day they brought us to this country and what they mean by dii in my opinion is duly elected incumbent uh, we know what they want to say uh, but they don't have the courage to say the n-word and the fact that i don't uh, believe in their uh, untruthful and wrong ideology and i am very proud of, proud of my heritage and who i am and where i come from scares them uh, because me being on my position means that their way of thinking their way of life of being comfortable and suffering and while everyone else suffers is going to be at risk and they should be afraid because that's my okay. purpose in life. Okay. <laughs> all right <laughs> look you know how rottweilers they slobber a lot right <laughs> because they're dogs and that's why the only reason he heard, he hears the dog whistle is because he's a bitch. Then you're a bitch. I'm sorry. Dog. <laughs> Dogs hear whistles. That's what he hears. And that's why he, he was slobbering. He couldn't wait to get on there with Joy Reid and spew this foolishness, okay? Nobody, whoever the, the congressman that said that, that was, I don't even know why he said that. But nevertheless, Brandon Scott couldn't run fast enough on, on all fours to get to Joy Reid and make this into an issue about slavery and his heritage. He's a dog. He's the bitch. That's why. That's why he heard the whistle. This is foolishness. The people in Baltimore, yes, he was voted in with a minority of the people who happened to be the majority of the vote that voted for him in that three-way race. This is foolishness. Baltimore is still not safe. He can spew all of this stuff, and he's still not doing anything for Baltimore. He needs to comb his nappy head, get off camera, brush his teeth, wash his face, and look like a mayor. With this DEI heritage, it doesn't look good. It's not doing any good. I want to get your hey, thoughts dog whistle on this. Is a, it's a dog whistle now. Just say a dog whistle. That's the dog whistle now. Like... <laughs> <laughs> that's all they got to say this is a dog whistle and then you know let, he, let's, hear let, he hears yeah. it because he's the bitch yeah i, I want to get you in on this crystal what are your thoughts on this he's he's equating uh dei he's saying they're just using this is what their way of calling him the n-word yeah and 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 honestly like i think black folks like you guys got some nerve to be talking about this like i saw something on the black conservative federation page today and they posted hey conservatives we need to stop insulting and how the word dei hire is becoming very insulting and offensive and i and i i i typically do not respond to those types of things but this time i did i said you guys call white folks everything in the book from they you know nepotism you know like if they get a good job because of their you know family or their connections you guys call them privileged you call them all kinds of things in the minute that they get something that they can concretely say is affect i mean is affecting them i mean like to be hired because of diversity equity inclusion and not because the fact that you're qualified is affecting them. And the minute that they start calling it out, you guys somehow are getting offended. And I just think that that's just, that's, I mean, like we cannot deny the fact that we um that black people have been given tremendous opportunity because i do think and i do believe that this country is not a racist country and they and if they hear a cry of the people meaning like black people are crying and saying it's unfair i do believe that they're going to try their best to rectify the wrong mm -hmm. now the problem is is that once they do that you have to perform and black folks have not held up their end of the bargain of the dei um tr um uh gig or the DEI agreement and that's the most important part of this conversation and what, what about that, the, but, oh, no, oh, but DEI didn't they come up with that term that's what I'm so, so isn't yes. isn't being called a DEI hire or a DEI mayor is, shouldn't that be a badge of honor yeah it should be that's what but I was about to say I mean this is all they talk about you know um d d uh, equity and inclusion and you know we had the uh the the um first that first lady kamala harris the vp you know biden said he was a he was going to pick a black woman not talking about the policy not talking about her uh her education or character or anything it was a black woman so you're picking someone because of them being black i mean this is what this is. So what yeah. is the issue? White folks can't win. They can't, yeah. they can't the, win. 
Yeah, the issue is that a white person said it. Yeah, exactly. That's the issue. Well, the, the wrong white person, right? Because if you're an ally or if you're a, a raging leftist, right, you know, you you can say it. Yeah. Right, and then you saw how he picked out, he said, when he was going through the list of people, I guess, that were not good, he said, um, straight white men. So it's not just white men, but they got to be straight. So I guess gay white men or, or homosexual white men are okay. Yeah, but they are for that. Men are they the issue. Yeah. He took he took the time to get on national TV to speak with ignorant joy, Reed, about this when the bridge, the key bridge, just collapsed. People are still literally in their watery grave, and he took the time to focus on why he was called the DEI mayor. Get a grip. This is why you were called out as the DEI mayor. Let's change it around. DEI, DIE, dead people. Yeah, and, and had, more and, dead and, people. And the fact of the matter is, is Brendan Scott hasn't performed. I know that Baltimore has a few LED signs, like a, a few LED lights downtown, but we still have a problem with crime. We still have a problem with unemployment. We still have a lot of major issues. People don't feel safe in, in the neighborhood. And so he, in I mean, he has not done a good job. I mean, like it, it's, I mean, most people, like if you talk to any Baltimoreans, they'll say the same thing. Like the schools are terrible. Like Brandon Scott has not done a good job. So if you're talking about, yeah, we elected you and um, we, you know, liked you because you were young. And, but I mean, as far as his qualifications, I mean, like he's done a very poor job and he looks kind of slow, y'all. Like see, every time you talk to him, he looks no. kind of slow. I heard he doesn't have a driver's no, license. Like, I mean, like he just, like, he, has a like, I heard, he doesn't have to drive. He, he doesn't show. drive. Yeah. I heard he doesn't drive. Like he's just kind of like weak and is showing weak leadership. And well, and look, look, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you this crystal, right? Because th this is why I, I, have been harping on this book, Color Communism and Common Sense, right? He's just towing the party line. He's exactly. been told what to say. Um, but beyond that, he's really been groomed into this. Um, KJ sent the video earlier, um, you know, about how he, you know, just, uh, oh, I, forgot, I forgot the name of the video, but he was just kind of explaining how he got to where he is. And then, you know, just kind of through the whole organization, organizing, community involvement, quote unquote, process. That's how he's gotten involved with government. And yeah, he's included some of his personal experience, but he's been groomed into a certain ideology. Absolutely. So he, he's not he's not ignorant, right? He's not, he's not. Um, someone who doesn't really know what he, he he's uh, talking about, but he's he he's groomed into this. And it's this idea of, you know, this communist foundation of ideals. He's towing the party line. And part of one of the requirements is to create constant division. And you use particular people in blackface to do this, right? And if you notice, there's this complete synergy from City Hall all the way up to white up to the White House. And this oh. is why President Biden said, um, yeah, we're going to fund, like pay pay the you know pay the money to get this bridge fixed when you got East Palestine and Maui still waiting on aid, right? So so there's this synergy that goes uh you know from again from City Hall to the governor's mansion in in Annapolis up into DC. They're just towing the party line and you know if if I have to create division to do it, you know, that's what I'm going to do. If I yeah. have to call out the racist dog whistles, racist dog whistles, that's what I'm going to do. If I have to speak a bit against MAGA or whatever it is, Trump, that's what I'm going to do. This, again, that's this is an opportunity to unify the country. This was an opportunity to say that that bridge that was named after the man that created the Star Spangled Banner, where those boats were shipped, you know, the, those boats were shooting, um, you know, into our country, like into the port of Baltimore. Right. It's so symbolic. And, and to not stand behind that as a as a symbol of unity for this country and what it means, not to just those six lives, but to the economy and to this entire country to now use this as an opportunity to divide the country. It's just more of the same of what we have. And it's just evident that they're all following the same process. Right. Yeah, like you said, Giovanni, I mean, and you're exactly right. He is a company man, you know, for lack of a better word. You know, he, he came into office as mayor in 2020, but he has literally been working in city government most of his life. He started in city Absolutely. council. He became the city council president. I mean, he has been, he is one, if, if anybody is like the spokesperson or poster child for the Democrat establishment, he is it. 
And I do believe he believes everything he says. You know, he yep. started out in activism. Absolutely, they believe it. Worked his way up uh, in the chains of the Democrat Party. Shelly, you're very familiar with him. You want to talk about that a little bit? No, I don't. I don't waste my time on him either. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, um, no, I really don't. I don't waste my time on him. But this is, again, this is why I've been saying, I know what we mean when we say they're stupid. They're not stupid. They know exactly what they're not stupid. And they are not incompetent by the standards that they are putting forth by typically, I mean, by the uh, communist Marxist standards. They are very competent in executing their um, their standards in that plan. Well, I, I will say this, though. I, I, I don't I don't think they realize what they're part of, though. Right. I, mean, I, 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 don't, I don't think, I don't they're, think they're, I don't, they're, not, they, they, they're not stupid. Right. You know, they're very, very, very intelligent people. Right. But they're they're, they're not, not intelligent people. You guys No, they're, they're, not, they're just they're not, not they're They're not aware of what what's going on around and what part what system that they're, they're, they're just playing a cog in. Right. I, they're I not aware know. of that. Yeah, I don't I don't think that they're smart at all. I mean, like they haven't done well for the people like I really think that these are people who um, take advantage of the ignorance of the black criminal. Which means they know what they're doing. No, That's no, why I, no. I no, think no, there no. are some like that. I don't think he I don't, is. I don't, I don't think, think he is. I think he legit thinks that he is helping them by yeah. giving yeah. them stuff. Be, but but he doesn't even... And I mean, I talk to a lot of black leaders and they feel like this, like the more I give black people that they'll succeed. Now, mind you, the formula has never worked in any community, not just black people. You cannot give your... You can, cannot give somebody a out of poverty. You cannot give them out of poverty. You have to educate them and the fact that he is not focused on that you guys i am sorry like i look at him and all i could think is lead 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 like he looks slow y'all something is seriously wrong with him no i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna go out on the limb and say he's not slow he's I, not, I mean I, slow. I, look I, i've i've seen I mean, I, I've seen him a couple of times. I used to, I used to see him on the flag football field. I started playing, and I, I don't see him anymore. <laughs> um, I but, used to see him. I used to see him more than I wanted. Like you said, yeah, we, I mean, he, we know. He, but he is definitely not slow. Not. You guys, not I slow. remember. No, I remember meeting him, and I remember we were doing a cleanup, right? Like we were doing a Baltimore City cleanup, and he had started like cleaning up the streets. And I looked at somebody and I was like, well, what is he doing? And they were like, oh, he always cleans up with everybody. I said, he is slow if he thinks that his job is to clean up. His job is not to clean up. His job is no. to motivate the others. No. To do, like, he's the leader. Like, he's a leader, he's a leader, he's a leader he's you guys. He's a leader. Part of the community. That is what, no. that, that's not his job, he, so to speak. Yes, that but is his not, job. No. He's a part, he's part. Part of the community as a mayor, as a city councilman, is to he's taking the front lines basically and showing the people what a leader. That's what they are. That's part of his plan, if you will. Not his plan. But it doesn't company. work. I'm not saying it works, but that's what they believe. That's what I'm saying. That's why I said that's not the evidence of and, a I mean, Shelly, Shelly, you have this you have worked nothing. it. Shelly, you have worked in management roles in your lifetime. Your job as a manager is to get other people to execute. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. Like, if he thinks that his job is to somehow be in the phrase and be like, then then you got like he we, we they elected the wrong. Yeah, he's person. just doing. He's doing he's that for the photo yeah. op and, yes, and, and for exactly. he's not he's not the for the politics. Yeah, he's, he's not. He's not slow. He's definitely he's not. not slow. He really isn't. No, I'd say no, he's he, a lot of things, but slow is not one of them. He's not. Yeah, yeah. Like he, I think he's just a cog. He's a cog uh, on on the on the machine, and you know that I do believe that there are you know establishment Democrats that are doing these things. You know, recruiting people like him, using them, using uh, communities and things for power. But I think there are still a subsection of them that actually believe that what they're doing, what they believe in, their ideology is best for this country. Uh, and they just going to. It don't work. Yeah, right. It doesn't well, work. It don't work. Well, yeah. Well, I do want to put a I do want to put a plug in for the actual workers, the working class, the blue collar workers. There's nothing wrong with helping to clean up your streets. Mayor, president, governor, there's nothing wrong. I want to put a plug in for those people who do it every day, and I thank them for it. Yeah, I, I mean, I commend Brandon Scott for that stuff. Like he's I out. do too. He's he's out he's, in the community. He's a worker, you know, he's a he worker. He does it. He, he, he does he, it. He, there's nobody's above picking up trash in your neighborhood. Yeah. That, that's it. 
you guys, y'all, come on. Like, I, listen, I'm, not, listen, saying, I can I'm disagree. not saying that you're being, I'm not saying that you should not clean up your streets. However, one can chase a thousand and two can put 10,000 to flight. Like if you don't understand your role as a mayor to motivate the masses and to move the masses, then you don't need to be the mayor. That has nothing to do with me thinking that he's he's too good to pick up the streets. Yeah, but if, if he, if he, his can, talk, he is motivating the if masses. can talk to a hundred people and get them to clean up the streets, that's his role. Not for him and four other people to be cleaning up the streets. That's stupid. Why would we pay him to do that? You're, I you, think he probably was doing, yeah. he, in his mind, he believes that would be a motivator. And he's stupid. But, well. If he thinks that. Bye. All right, well, Right Don't try off. to convince Crystal. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> Leave her alone. <laughs> no, no. Um, yeah, I mean, I can see it both ways, you know. Um, but um, moving right along, you know, we do need to. Um, again, I want to thank you guys for joining us. Uh, this is a special edition of Pop and Politics on a Friday night. Happy Good Friday to all those who celebrate. Uh, certainly appreciate you guys uh, hanging in with us, enjoying the conversation. We appreciate your uh, 